In Adobe Illustrator, you can clean up and create paths in an illustration by joining paths. In this video, you'll use the join command to join paths together. If you'd like to follow along, you can open this file from the practice files for this tutorial. At the top of the artboard is a logo. On the right side is the finished logo, and on the left is a series of separate paths. To complete the logo on the left, you'll join some of these paths together so this artwork looks like the finished logo on the right. To zoom into the artwork so it's a little bit easier to see, select the zoom tool in the tools panel on the left and drag across these paths on the left to zoom in. Then to select the paths, select the selection tool in the tools panel and drag across the two outside paths to select just them. To join them together so that they're just one path instead of two, choose Object, Path, Join. The paths are joined where the anchor points overlapped. This is now one path. Joining works on open paths, but not on paths that are closed like a circle or a square. Now you'll join the two paths in the middle. Drag across the two middle paths here to select them. Be careful not to select anything else. Then to join them, choose Object, Path, Join. They are now one path. Let's do the same for the smallest paths here to select just them and join them. So drag across these paths. To join them, choose Object, Path, Join. You now have three paths. To complete the logo design, you need to join these paths together in different ways. So click the smallest path to select it if it's not already selected. Then press the Shift key and click the path in the middle to select both of them. You're going to join these two paths together. So choose Object, Path, Join. Illustrator joins the ends of the two paths together with a straight line. The ends of the paths that are closest are typically the first to be joined. If you were to choose the Join command one more time, the last two ends would be joined with a straight line and the path would be completely closed. Now you'll join this selected path with the first path you joined. So press the Shift key and click the first path. This time you'll use a keyboard command for joining instead of going up to the menu. Press Command and J on Mac or Control and J on Windows to join the two ends of the selected paths with a straight line. To give the path ends a rounded appearance, click the word stroke in the properties panel to the right of the document and select round cap so that you can round the ends of the paths. This logo is now complete. Now you'll join some artwork at the bottom of the artboard. So press the spacebar to temporarily access the hand tool, then drag in the document window so you can see the artwork down here. Next you'll finish this eye icon using the join command. You need to copy and flip this curved path first. So with the selection tool selected, click the path to select it. To copy it, choose Edit, Copy. And then to paste a copy in the same exact position on top of the original, choose Edit, Paste in Front. With it selected, now you'll flip it. In the Properties panel, click the Flip Along Vertical Axis button here. Now to drag it into position. Drag the new path so that the ends align with the original path, and Smart Guides should let you know when they're aligned with each other. If you don't see the Magenta Smart Guides, you can choose View, Smart Guides to make sure that they're on. Okay, now to join these paths. Drag across both paths and press Command and J on Mac or Control and J on Windows to join the ends of the selected paths. Now to join the other end. Press Command and J on Mac or Control and J on Windows once more to join the other ends of the selected paths. To finish the logo, you'll fill the shape with a black color. So click the fill color in the properties panel. Make sure the swatches are selected and then click to apply this black color. To arrange the black shape behind the other eye shapes, press the escape key to hide the colors. Click the arrange button at the bottom of the properties panel and choose send to back. To deselect all the artwork, choose select, deselect. Then to see all the artwork, choose view, fit artboard and window. Now you know how to join paths using the join command. In your own projects, you can use joining in a lot of different ways, including to combine two mirrored paths to create artwork that's symmetrical.